I am Miss Mary from the Glassboro branch of the Gloucester County Library System, and welcome to our STEM activity. Today, we are going to be working on an engineering activity and building a cardboard automaton, which is a cool word for a toy that moves out of cardboard. So, of course, the first thing you're going to need is a box. I think by now we all have some Amazon boxes sitting around, so go ahead and grab one of those. You will also need a pair of scissors, a compass if you have one. If you don't have a compass, you can just use a little cup. We're going to be drawing some circles, so you're going to need something to help you with that. A good sharp pencil, some chopsticks. I know that that's a little bit more unusual, but hopefully you've got some in the kitchen drawer somewhere. A ruler, and now this part is important. A hot glue gun. This gets hot, not just the glue gun part, but the glue itself. So please make sure that you have your parents help with the glue gun use. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is, using our box, we are going to make a six inch by six inch by three inch frame. So we're going to measure that out. Using our ruler and our pencil. Okay, and then we'll just gently cut that out. Take your time with the cutting. It doesn't have to be fast, but it is important to measure correctly. So, we end up with one of these, and we'll just gently cut along that line. We're going to have four cardboard. Now save the rest of that box. You're going to need more pieces of cardboard later. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna use our trusty hot glue gun and with your parents' help, create a frame. So you're going to glue right here on the edge and right here on the edge. and line up our frame, one on this side and one on the other. And then of course, using our hot glue gun again, we're gonna put one on the top. There we go, nice little frame. Should be a square. Look something like this. Now let's put that to the side and give it a moment to dry while we cut out some more cardboard. You are going to need two circles. Two and a half inches is about what we're aiming for, so use your little cup or your compass and go around. Now while we are doing this, you might also need to make a handle out of your cardboard. And to do that, we're basically just going to make an L shape with an extra little bit at the end. So it should look like that. And let's go ahead and cut that out. What this handle is going to be used for is to attach to the chopstick and the two circles, they are going to become what are called cams in our automaton. That's spelled C-A-M. Not like can, like what food would come in. So we've got our little handle and our circles. Go ahead and cut these out. Oops. 
Now, while we're cutting cardboard, I want to talk to you about our frame here. You'll notice that even though it's dry, it wobbles and it wiggles and it kind of falls. So, taking a little bit of scrap cardboard, go ahead and cut out some triangles. A bit of engineering fun fact, triangles are in fact the strongest shape. So we're going to use some triangles to reinforce our automaton frame. We're going to use our hot glue again. Gently does it. Be very careful with the hot glue. And just place that right in the middle to help reinforce your frame. Once you have all four corners where they need to be, we are going to hot glue our chopsticks to the handle. So let's give that a moment to dry. And we have our handle and our chopsticks. So just put a little hot glue on the long part of the handle. and lay your chopstick down on top of it. Make sure you leave your chopstick long enough so we can frame all the way through the frame. That's gonna be important. So we'll put that off to the side. And let's get started on our circles. Now, we need to find the exact center of our circles. The easiest way to do this is just draw an X. When you draw an X, you can find the center of your circle very easily. And we're gonna take our second chopstick here, and glue it up right there in the middle of the circle. Set that off to the side to dry. And for our second circle, we're going to draw our X again. But this time, we're purposefully not going to use the center. We're going to go off center and use our pencil to create a hole. Now, depending on the size of your chopsticks, you may need to wiggle your pencil a little to make sure it can fit through. And we're going to do the same thing for our frame. We're going to draw an X here at the top. And on the sides. If you're not very confident on this, you can use your ruler to help you. And finding our center, we're going to just push our pencil through giving it a little wiggle along the way. Just like that. And for the top. Oops. The top. Okay. So now we've got our frame with holes on the sides and at the top. The next thing you're going to do is just test out your handle and make sure it fits in there nice and good. And it does. Lovely. So this part does need to be done in just the right order. You're going to take your first circle, the one that has the hole in it, and you're going to put your chopstick through the first side of the frame, then the circle, then the second side of the frame. Give it a test. All right, everything seems to be working. Don't glue this down yet. You will eventually, but not yet. So let's push that off to the side. And we're going to take our second chopstick, the one with the circle glued to the bottom, and push it right through, just there. Now, this might be too light. If it is, what you can do is you can add a washer, to it, or if you don't happen to have a washer, you can hot glue some quarters onto it. You do want it to have enough weight that it will go up and down. So we'll go ahead and add some quarters now. Make sure they're evenly spaced apart, like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and push that through here. Now this is actually called a cam in mechanical terms. 
You want to put this right in the middle. And you can see this is starting to wobble. So we're going to reinforce that with a little bit of hot glue. So let's turn it this way so that it stays nice and steady and hot glue that down into spots. Here we have a cam and an anti-cam. When we turn this handle, this circle will move in a circular motion, and this will move in an up and down motion, like a piston. And that's actually rudimentary. What we've built here is a piston. Now, right now, it looks cool, but it's not really much of a toy. So what we want to do is let that dry for a minute and make a little boat or anything you'd like really i chose a boat but you can make any shape you'd like that you'd like to look like it's wobbling up and down so with our finished product when we turn our cam here it's going to move our second cam up and down and you can see that our boat is moving around it's sailing and it's certainly spinning now if you're having a little trouble with your cam staying into place, which I am here, you can reinforce it by just putting a smoothie straw right here in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've cut the straw open on the side so we can pop it on like so. And right like that. Straw goes in. And that will help to keep everything in place so that it doesn't wobble quite so much. All right, so I hope you have fun engineering your own cardboard automaton and learning how a circular motion can move into a linear one, up and down versus a circle. Um, thank you for joining me. If you like this, please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.